one of the other big deciding factors on the tongue oil for me and my family is it's not a harsh chemical, it's an all natural food grade. We don't have to worry about having a polyurethane or some kind of sealer on the concrete that's not going to be good for us. Today we're going to finish off the concrete countertop with real milk paint, pure 100% tongue oil. We've used this stuff to finish the floors in our house and all the pine walls. We've had really good luck with it. So we're going to try it on the concrete now and see what happens. Here goes nothing. No turning back now. We're just using tongue oil and a good clean rag. Just rubbing it in and letting it soak it up as much as it wants. It's going to take quite a few coats of this. We'll probably take do it over a few days. I'm trying to figure out what kind of sailor to use. For your concrete, it's pretty difficult. There's a lot of different opinions out there. There's no right answer, no wrong answer. I like the tongue oil because it's natural. You can keep re-adding coats to it throughout, over time, every year. Um, tongue oil actually hardens. It's not like a vegetable oil or a mineral oil that doesn't harden. It actually oxidizes over time and the oxidization causes it to dry and it gets kind of like a, like a urethane hardness to it. And if I'm dripping on my floor right now, it's not a big deal. I can just rub it in. My floors are finished in it. It's already getting soaked in. I'll bring you over to the first corner we started on and let you see what it looks like. So you can see right here, it's pretty well dry. It's the first area we started with. It's just sucked it right in. It's still wet here. And it's funny, when you first wipe it down, you, you can see it stays a light gray. And once it sits for a minute, it gets darker, and then it soaks it in really nice. I forgot how nice the tongue oil smells. It's got a real nice nutty aroma. It's nothing overpowering or chemical to it at all. I just think it's so wild to see how much it's soaked into the concrete and how long it takes. It's just the different color variations. It's just the penetrating, the penetration depth of the oil. I'm just going to let the tongue oil sit for a little bit and absorb into the concrete. I've been working on a new recipe for gluten-free banana bread muffins. Me and my family are going to try going gluten-free, see if we feel any health benefits from that. They just came out of the oven. I'm going to go try one. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. The muffin smells so good. We love gluten here. I am a big bread man. So going gluten free for us, is kind of a big deal. We're trying it, we wanna see if we get more energy and get rid of some of our brain fog. But we love our baked goods. I can't tell it's gluten free. All right, we had just enough time to finish our muffin and it got all saturated in. There's a few spots here and there that are not yet. We're just gonna stop where we started in the first place and just keep working our way around. The nice pot is right now, filling it. I'll show you, I'm, come over here. You can see how well the tongue oil soaked down into the concrete. I can wipe my hand on it right now and nothing. So we're just gonna keep applying until it won't take it anymore and then we'll wipe off the final coat. I've reapplied the tongue oil to the concrete countertop six times so far today. I would let it sit about a half hour between each coat and then I would just reapply another even coat. I'm going to wipe it down right now and then come back tomorrow and do it all over again. You don't want the tongue oil drying on the top. You want it soaking in so you don't want to leave it overnight or for a long time. Applying the tongue oil to seal the concrete was very simple. We did seven coats and now it's sealed up and we're good to go. It was simple, easy, rub it on, let it sit for about a half hour, let it soak in and penetrate good into the concrete and wipe it off. And now you can see our concrete is sealed. You can let the water sit on there, it's not going to go anywhere. And I feel good about it. It's a natural sealant. There's no chemicals. I don't have to worry about anything getting into our food. One of the best things about using tongue oil as a sealant is that if you need to reapply it, just put some more tongue oil on it, spread it out, let it sit for a half hour, wipe it off, you're good to go again. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, it helps, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.